So what we have here is an ultra-fine resolution terrain height map. We're in the terrain editor and I just want to show you, if I just check out of here, which shouldn't take very long. So this is the, the low resolution version that Horro supplied and if I go into the material lab you can see I can get in and out of the material lab very quickly. I'll go into the sky lab and I can come in and out of that no problem. Now what happens when I edit this and raise the resolution to planetary resolution and then load in the planetary resolution version supplied. You can see that it's taking a little bit longer I'll just load that in and what's happening is Bryce is becoming very unresponsive which is a real problem for workflow when it comes to developing things like materials and skies as I'll show you when we get out of the terrain lab which is, is thinking about it at the moment um, this white screen I think is a result of using Camtasia Studio at the same time to record this so uh, you may not see this behavior but you will experience long delays you can see that uh, the windows is showing our ah, check mark has appeared in the corner which is promising so just wait for this to process uh, it'll come along sometime soon right okay so we're back out now and if I go into the material lab now I click the button there is quite a long delay before we can get into the material lab so imagine you're setting material up you'll make a few changes to the material you want to know what it looks like in the render so you check out and then give it a render and you'll need to usually set the material up on a, a, on a mesh that's close to the resolution that uh, you're going to render in otherwise it's not very easy to anticipate what's going to happen particularly with certain types of filter like curvature filter for example which is affected by the mesh resolution also you'll note if I go into the sky lab and you may want to make quite a few changes to the sky as well uh, it's taking a long time so I, I click the button and, and it takes well look, uh, one two three four five six six seconds about to go in and out so uh, that's a bit awkward however there is a workaround now provided you've, you've got the terrain how you want it to be so you're not going to modify it when you can uh, copy the matrix so I'll copy the matrix so that's stored the location of this terrain and then go into the object preset library and choose a empty-ish category or make and make another category you don't want to put too many of these in one category because you might overflow it and then it'll not load you've got a two gigabyte limit so I'm just going to add that you can see I've done this a few times so perhaps I'm pushing my look I don't know how much space these are taking up that's another issue and I won't really go into that here but now I've saved that I can check out of here I'll get rid of my terrain and then I'll just load in the terrain I've just saved which will take a few seconds because of the size of it obviously there's some processing going on okay and then edit and paste the matrix so it drops back into position so if I render it now you'll see that it just it's dropped straight back into position however if I go into the Skylab for example I'll click on the button and it's straight in no problem at all which makes it very easy to modify the sky I'll check out of there I'll go into the material lab and we're more or less straight in again maybe a slight hesitation but not as bad as it was before so uh, I'm gonna load in a material from the library okay so I'll load in the material from the library check out of there check out of there and you can see that we're still straight in and out of the Skylab so there's no problems with that I'm modifying the material no problem with that however okay so if you were to say oh I need to modify the height map at this point I'll just go and edit the height map there's still quite a long delay going into the train lab which I suppose is reasonable because it's the thing that's processing it it's not so reasonable when it affects the other ones under some circumstances and not others so let's say we make a tiny modification to this I don't know, I'll just add a bit of height somewhere All right so that's uh, thinking about letting that happen again there's a bit of a delay I'm just waiting so I can check out of here now I'll, I'll click over where the check mark is and hopefully it'll respond eventually you can see that the waiting symbols appeared so it's only a very small modification that come back to me that's okay now if I go into the material lab I've clicked it as the long delay again so if you modify the terrain you have to go through the procedure of adding it to the library 
and uh, I, they say it'll affect the Skylab again. You see, I clicked on the button and no response. So we're back to being unresponsive. So any modifications to the train will reset this behavior and then you'll have to put it in the library and bring it back out of the library, which is a bit fiddly, but at least it allows you to have high resolution trains in there and edit the sky and the material instead of having to wait till the very end, load it in and then do that as the last bit. So it's a workaround, it's not ideal, but at least it should, uh, should make life a bit easier if you work with the high resolution trains. Okay then, cheers now.